so hello and welcome to another video today's video is quite uh important like the topic of today's video and that's personal branding because uh you know we live in a very interconnected world and it's only going to get more interconnected with these vr headsets and like neural link chips and stuff like that so building a personal brand is going to have like a deep impact on your future and this is sort of like inception because using this video i'm going to build my own personal brand by telling you how to build a personal brand so yeah so without further ado here we go Now first off why should you build a personal brand like i said earlier interconnected world so like it's going to have a deep impact on your future plus like your personal brand is now your digital identity just like how you have physical id cards uh, aadhar cards uh, social security numbers blah 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 your personal brand is what people see when they google you when they come across your name they see your social media profiles and stuff like that so your personal brand is basically your digital identity a part of the internet that you own okay So building a strong personal brand in college itself has like many benefits okay firstly like because not a lot of people have their own personal brands so you can stand out from the crowd by like applying for internships jobs and stuff like that and also you build like i said an online presence and you own a part of the internet like a very small part of that internet real estate is just yours okay so uh, a good personal brand can increase your uh chances that internships make you more memorable to like job officers and stuff like that and it can help you in your professional life a lot okay also a personal brand allows you to like showcase what you know your expertise what you are passionate about how much you know your knowledge and stuff like that you can also like contribute to random conversations on say reddit you can meet new people you can attract people who are very similar to your thought process and things like that okay Now building a personal brand is cool and all but how do you exactly go about building a personal brand It's it's not that hard it's just like a five step process I've broken it down to five steps First step one is define your brand identity so who are you okay that's exactly what your brand identity is think about yourself what are your values what are you passionate about what are you interested in what is something about you that sets you apart from the crowd and stuff like that okay and think about how you want your image to be on the internet okay that's basically your brand identity okay now step 2 is this is also kind of important choose your platforms okay you can't be on every platform at once i kind of am but like huh uh choose like two or three platforms where you're like super strong or whatever and then the others are just like you know subsidiary side things okay so i I'd, i'd say linkedin is a must because it's a professional network So a lot of job stuff, internship stuff, and a lot of other stuff is there, and a lot of like smart professional people that people are there. You will also need it for networking and stuff like that. Uh, Twitter is also good if you want to like you know just text stuff. Instagram is good if you want to like make reels, uh, visual storytelling and stuff like that. Or you can also start a personal blog if you blog if you want on like Medium or stuff like that. You can also write answers on Quora. It's like pretty limitless. but you need to choose like a few of them so that you can go deep on those and be like okay okay on the other platform okay step 3 uh be consistent across platforms so you can't on one platform you can't say you're a youtuber on one platform say you're a rapper on one platform say you write on linkedin one platform say you're a podcaster and stuff like that try to be consistent across things and have like similar topics okay in terms of uh usernames okay in terms of like your about section and like uh, your profile picture i'd say use like maybe one or two different profile pictures maybe but try to stay consistent across platforms okay step 4 is create content related to you okay related to you in the sense um it can either maybe be like a competition you won some experience you had or something that was unique to you okay or it can also be curation okay so there's like this thing going on on the internet where when you start out on content creation you do curation and then going forward you do creation curation is basically you uh, listen to 100 podcast episodes and you write down what all you learned from them and then you post that that is curating what that podcast taught you okay creation is uh, you built a business and you learned some lessons and you are telling that to your followers and your you know people so uh, when you're early on starting building the brand you do more of curation you watch youtube videos you watch ted talks you listen to podcasts you read books and you learn what you understood from that you learn the lesson you you write the lessons you post the lessons and stuff like that so that's a great way of like a borrowing somebody else's credibility because like say i post 20 lessons i learned from atomic habits by james clear 
there will be people out there who are following James Clear. If I tag James Clear, they'll also find out that he was tagged. Then James Clear himself might see. Then there might be someone who wants to read Atomic Habits but is lazy and he just wants to find out what are the top lessons. Okay, so yeah, curation versus creation. Okay, now step five: engage and network. Okay, engage in the sense that if you if you are a YouTuber, say, and you get like twenty comments, at least like uh, reply to like two or three of them minimum. Uh, give a heart to some of them, like some of them, respond to you know uh, some other comments on Instagram, say stuff like that. If you're on Reddit, then participate in some discussions. If you're on uh, Quora, answer some questions. If you're on LinkedIn, reach out to people who are like you. Okay, what this gen- uh, what this does is you build connections with people. Okay, and in the at the end of the day, your network is your net worth okay building a strong network no matter at what stage you are in is amazing amazing in a sense it can have a very big impact on your future okay so always yes to network yes to engaging with like comments replies and stuff like that okay that's step 5 so that's how you build your personal brand okay now in conclusion uh, just remember that building a personal brand online is a journey it's not an overnight thing okay overnight your post might go viral your tweet might go viral your thread might go viral your youtube video might go viral but that's not your personal brand okay your personal brand happens over some period of time okay it takes some amount of time some amount of effort and like sort of dedication on your side consistency and stuff okay so uh, just like a tldr wrap up uh, define your brand choose your platforms be consistent across platforms create valuable content and engage and network with people okay your personal brand is like super powerful it has the power to shape your career and it can literally change the trajectory of your life depending on like you know what you want to get into and stuff like that but it's it's like a win win situation okay so it's it's like a weapon you can use it to uh, improve everything and i hope you uh, you like the video and this added value to your life Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.